Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, also known as ETCG1 when I post videos wearing this hat. Hey, if it's your birthday, I want to personally wish you a happy birthday. Alrighty then, behind me, yes, my 1979 Ford Fairmont project car. And we have certainly made a lot of progress. In fact, it is the morning after I finished putting the front suspension uh, together in the car and now I'm able to roll it around the shop which is pretty cool. As I've said in other videos, I'm loving this project. I'm having fun with it. I'm re-engineering, I'm fabricating, I'm, my welding is getting better. Flip and love it. But the purpose of this video is to talk about the expense of doing this kind of thing. And I think anybody that's built a car or wanted to build a car is, has hit a couple of roadblocks. And uh, I would say two mainly. Either they ran out of money or ran out of time. Uh, and the time thing I think comes in when you, you know, sort of bite off more than you can chew. I think you get it in the shop or the garage or whatever and you start tearing everything apart and next thing you know you got a garage full of parts and something that's all torn down and you're kind of depressed because you realize it's a lot more work than you thought it would be and there's a lot more rust or damage than you thought there was and it sort of uh, takes the wind out of your sails. Well, then there's the money side of things, which is what I want to talk about here. These things nickel and dime you to death. Now, front suspension, here's an example. Actually, it's not an example of what cost me money, but okay. So I saved a lot of money. Uh, I, a viewer out in Washington State sold me the K member, the lower control arms, the front struts, uh, the front stabilizer bar, the rear stabilizer bar, the rear control arms, both upper and lower. Uh, the steering rack, which is a manual steering rack, and the uh, hardware and everything to attach everything and, and get it all to go together. And that was a great package deal I got for about 800 bucks. There was some shipping or something in there. It was an awesome deal, and it saved me a ton of money. But then we found out not long ago that my engine block was junk. Well, I ended up getting a new engine block, and that set me back quite a bit to the tune of about oh, three grand. Yeah, I know. But that's the mentality I'm talking about here. And it's not just, it's not just that. It's, it's those times when you run to the hardware store to pick up that nut or bolt. And you end up walking out of there for 20 bucks. And you do that 10 times in a week. <laughs> it adds up. So, that, you know, doing this kind of work, I mean, it really nickel and dimes you to death. I mean, you can come up with a really good plan, which I felt that I came up with a solid plan. Uh, in fact, my original budget for this car was 15000 uh, I think at this point I've at least reached that or I've gone over it. And that depends on how you calculate it because uh, if you want to count my parts car, my 82 Mustang, in it, as part of that uh, parts cost, which I've actually gotten a lot of parts off of that. So ways to save money. Having a parts car, that was super helpful. Um, and also looking for deals like on Craigslist where projects where people maybe have given up or have gotten partway through it. Uh, now, granted, you might be inheriting a, somebody else's mess, but it could save you a few bucks over buying things new, which, you know, I've bought quite a bit of new things for the Fairmount, and so far it's progressing along nicely. However, you know, along with those setbacks comes, well, a, a, a lot of learning, a lot of things that make me better in the end. You know, it's, it's like steel. You, you, you heat it, you cool it, you, you temper it. In other words, you stress it out, and in the end, it becomes stronger. More brittle, but stronger as a result. But I just wanted to, to take a moment and talk about this. I've, I've still got quite a mess over here after cleaning things up. And you know what? I, I might just give you an update video as far as where the uh, Fairmont is now, because I've been fitting things and getting things ready. The engine is still uh, at uh, Calvinator Engines, and we're trying to coordinate a day where we can put it on a dynamometer and uh, tune it and find out what kind of power it makes. So we need to sort that out. Transmission's done, as you know. Rear end is done, as you know. But now I'm doing a lot of those little things that take up the time and send me to the hardware store a bunch, which got me to thinking about hot rods nickel and diming you to death. And I'm sure that anybody that's had a project, whether it's a car, truck, bike, doesn't matter. It's those little things that you end up running to the store for that do add up. Uh, so yeah, you have your big expenses, like your engines that I talked about earlier, or, or uh, you know, redoing the suspension or the tires, the wheels, you know, that can be a, a major expense for people. Yeah, at the end of the day, if you add up all those little things, and, and I think when this is all said and done, I'm gonna do a video about that very thing. I'm gonna do a video about the true cost of what the Fairmont ended up being. And obviously I have to wait till I'm done to find that out, but I am keeping track of all the expenses just for said video. 
Anyway, what are your experiences with hot, hot rods, motorcycles, uh, stuff that you built, trucks? Doesn't matter. Um, have they nickel and dimed you to death? Have you had this experience? Are you chomping at the bit to start your own project? Well, I can tell you right now, save up. <laughs> uh, outside of that, you know, the comments down below are always welcome. Also, there'll be a link in the description to a discussion about this video, amongst other things. So links in the description in all my videos. So check there if you have additional questions. If you have automotive questions, I'd ask you to head over to EricTheCarGuy.com. There'll be a link in the description for that. See a theme here? Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you want to connect with me socially, be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.